This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2005 Chevy Silverado 2500. That's a three-quarter ton. Crew cab, short bed, 6.6 liter turbo diesel. It's four-wheel drive. And it's what we call a strippy, except that it's got tilt, cruise, and a CD player and air conditioning. Um, strippy meaning uh, vinyl seats, vinyl floor. It's also got the uh, floor shifter for the four-wheel drive, which I actually prefer. It was a theft re recovery we purchased directly from an insurance company in Jackson, Mississippi. Um, it's on a clear title, has 170,000 miles. Uh, we got it here and uh, we do our little two-hour inspection on it where we drive it and check measurements and put it in the air and take the wheels off and look at it. And uh, a couple things became apparent. Number one, mechanically it was great. I mean, 10 out of 10 mechanically. Um, cosmetically, it's been painted. We're not sure why uh, they painted from the doors up. The door, it looks like nothing, there was no reason for them to paint from the doors up. The bedsides have sandy marks that sometime somebody did something to both bedsides and they painted it and they did okay. I mean, it's Mako quality, maybe a little better than Mako quality paint. Um, but uh, for what, the person who buys this truck is going to do with it. I don't think it really matters. Um, it also looks to us like it's sometimes somebody stole the either the seat belts or the back seat, and then they replaced it and dyed the back seat. I, I, it's hard to tell what put this all together, but uh, we do our best to keep you as informed as we can, and that's what we could piece together. There's a little ding in the hood right here. Mechanically, it's unreal. I mean, it's a really nice truck. And whoever had it before it got stolen liked it enough to buy a brand new set of tires and put them on right before it got stolen. I mean, we did not do this. These are brand new and they were on it. So that's always an indication that you have a good vehicle when you when it shows up with a brand new set of tires. Uh, somebody liked it enough to drop seven or eight hundred dollars, maybe nine hundred dollars on this thing. There will be before and after pictures. We usually have four pictures of the vehicle before it even leaves the insurance company. Uh, so that you know that it wasn't wrecked when we bought it. And you'll be able to see that. There'll be four pictures of that. We'll also have about four, uh, I'm sorry, uh, between 50 and 70 HD pictures. And in that HD picture uh, gallery, you'll be able to click on each picture and magnify each picture so you can uh, there's a there's a fork right there that's extra that's an extra ten dollars for a fork there's a little plug right there um, and uh, anyway you can click on it you can magnify it you can get it really in close I encourage you to use it it's pretty cool but you can see a little bit of body work it used to have you can see the lines here where you said those fender flares that covered the outside of the, of the wheel well there Took them off. Painted it. They did appear to have painted it the same color. It wasn't a color change. A lot of times they'll paint them. See this? They didn't. They didn't take the door handles off and paint it. So you got that underneath the door handles. You got that underneath the windows. The paintwork is really good. I'm surprised they just, they just rushed a little bit. But uh, I don't really. Think, I mean, this is not going to a guy who's, you know, kind of. The guy who's going to buy this isn't buying it for looks, I wouldn't imagine. It's a good looking truck, but I doubt that that's what you'd buy it for. 172977 Show you under the hood. We didn't even have to put batteries in. Usually a diesel truck, you know, after it travels on a shipper for a while, is dead or almost dead it needs to uh get some batteries and this one will be fired right up right, right off the shipping truck
this a really simple truck, which is a really good thing. Simple is good. Wait, whoever bought this truck before, whoever owned it before, this used to be a, you can see it a little bit, this used to be a tan rear seat and they dyed it. So it may have been a work truck and they, I'm kind of picturing that maybe that was a work truck and they tore it up, you know, doing their work or whatever and the bed sides were beat up. So they did some pretty good body work, did some funky, yeah, not funky, but yeah, I Mako quality uh, paint on the bed sides. While they were there, they decided to paint the whole truck. They had a torn up seat, bought a seat, and had it died. Pretty simple. Um, structurally underneath and, and uh, interior, it looks great. Stickers where they belong. Floor looks good. love when they show up like this. This thing is, uh, has not been any trouble at all, which is very unusual for a vehicle that, that travels that far to not uh, have something, you know, a dead battery or a hiccup here or something, but uh, this one did not. And based on the tires, the tilt wheel works fine. Here's your cruise control there. Based on the uh, tires and the just the general condition of the truck when it arrived, somebody liked it. And uh, somebody's probably missing it. Because <laughs> uh, they actually took pretty good care of it. All right, let's see. Radio. Put them in my pocket. And Unusual for these vehicles to have a uh, uh, CD player in them when they're uh, what I call a strip you with the vinyl seats. But it does. Peeling paint right there. Peeling dye. Um, air conditioning. Very cold. Working fine. All the settings are working fine. I'm Gilbert Godfrey. Before seeing to it. And then we got the tow haul on and off. There it is, right there. All right. And we'll put it into neutral. And. Let's see, all the way up to four high. Now we're in four high. Oh, I'm sorry, that's four low, duh. Yeah, that's granny here, that's four low. Put it in reverse, that's definitely four low. All right, so that works fine. Let's see, let's go all the way back. Now we're in four high. Yeah, we should be able to go in speed, not be granny in it. There you go. And reverse. Yes. Okay, so that is four high. Now we're going to put it back in neutral. We're going to put it back in the two wheel drive. And we're going to go for a ride. And we're going to turn off tow haul. There you go. All right. This is not a clear title. So if you come to Tucson and drive it home, you're going to pay tax and dock fee. Dock fee is $250. Tax is 2% city sales tax here in Tucson plus whatever your state tax rate is. So, uh, for example, if you come uh, here uh, from a state with a 3% tax rate, you're gonna pay 5% tax. That's your state's three plus our city's two and a $250 dock fee. If you're one of our Alaska buyers, their state tax rate is zero, so they pay 2% tax and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship, all you pay is the agreed upon price and that's it. Uh, no dock fee, no taxes, you deal with your fees and whatever. You have to deal with taxes and stuff when it ships to you. A glare in here. It'd be easier to see the dash when uh, I turn around and have the sun behind me. Anyway, this is a really nice truck. Uh, let's see. Uh, deposits. Get your deposit. Once we have your $500 deposit, we will put your name in a banner over the truck at wheelkinetics.com and you'll know it's yours. Until then, it's for sale. I'm gonna shut up for just a second now that you can see the cluster here. This thing runs great. Really solid running, no vibrations, uh, not pulling, 
running straight, great tires. This thing just needs a new owner. Uh, I don't, I don't have any suggestions here on anything to do. Uh, at the end of the videos, I always say the same thing. If you'd like to verify this, please click on any of the videos for any of our vehicles. This thing is way out of warranty by by, by Chevy standards. Uh, they set a number based on their experience. They basically are saying they don't know what's going to happen to it after a certain number of uh, years or miles. They built it. They know more about this truck than we do. Okay, uh, That's obvious. They built it. If they don't know what's going to happen to it, there's no chance that we do. Okay, So what we're saying when we say, say this little speech, whether it's any of these things out here, any of these things from that nice new RDX that I drive all the time, any of this stuff. Uh, if you're risk averse, do not buy our vehicles. Okay? There is risk involved in buying anything used, whether it's a uh, sewing machine or a toaster or a Lazy Boy recliner. It really doesn't matter. There's risk. So if you don't like risk and you don't realize and you can't uh, accept the fact that at some point, sooner or later, you are going to have to spend money on a repair on this vehicle, then you shouldn't buy it, okay? That's, that would make you silly, so please don't do that. If you can accept that, and you realize that uh, there's some risk, and you may need an injector, or you may need, uh, who knows, a windshield wiper motor, or a, I, who, I, I don't know, fuel pump, I, who knows what, what'll happen? It could happen next week, it could happen five years from now. Based on our experience, this thing is solid, as solid, solid as a rock, just like the Chevy commercial, all right? Uh, but it doesn't mean something's not going to happen next week. We don't know. All right, so please go into this with your eyes wide open. This is a pretty cool truck. Thank you.